What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. This is the January monthly ship report for Star Citizen. Hope you're all going to enjoy this. If you haven't joined Star Citizen, use my referral code down in the description. This month, up until February 26th, you get a Drake Dragonfly, you get Red Alert Armor with a backpack and a shotgun, as well as 5,000 AUEC for free. So use my referral code now. So let's get straight into it. So a progress update on the RSI Zeus. Last month, the Zeus made significant progress moving beyond the gray box stage. The team has been hard at work on finishing pre uh, various areas such as the entrance ladder and engineering. They've also been polishing previous sections to ensure they match the contemporary RSI style. So again, hoping like hoping that it goes across the board with the style that they want just like how they're working with the Polaris to have similar designs in other ships but again they're just going to be a little bit different in some factors but again the Zeus is going to have that contemporary RSI style so it's all looks all the same across the board I guess. Uh, moving on to there's an unannounced ship so there's a little bit of news on this the unannounced ship has made some great progress the team has implemented um, an updated lighting pass uh, in including POMs, parallax, ocular occlusion maps. That's a little bit of a mouthful. To meet the current visual standard, the ship now features three different lighting states, uh, standardized headlights, geo updates, and beautiful glows on the thrusters. It has also undergone a material refactor and received other updates to enhance its overall appearance. This one seems quite interesting. Let us know down in the comments what you think this is and what manufacturer it may be and whether or not it's going to be a bigger ship or on a smaller side I feel like it might be on the smaller side if it's going to be like a straight to flyable um, that's you know sort of what it's feeling like it's going to be so going on to the RSI Polaris with its modular pieces and it going through the pipeline so the RSI Polaris obviously a fan favorite ship is currently in the gray box stage the ship's modular pieces including lifts hubs corridors hangars have been completed. This modular approach will allow for easy customization and flexibility in the game and again easier across the board for RSI ships. If people didn't know what this meant you do now. So what they're trying to do with the Polaris is use the pieces of ship like the corridors, rooms to use in other ships and use the contemporary design as I did mention earlier on the um, Zeus to sort of have that same design across the board on its larger ships like the Perseus, the Polaris, maybe even the, the Orion and um, their mining vessel. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes good because I'm definitely excited for this. Um, let us know what you think about it. Going on to some variants as well. So ship variants have been making impressive progress as well. One variant has moved through the grey box stage and has now entered level of design zero or level of detail. Uh, meanwhile, the other variant has completed level of design zero and is currently undergoing a gate review. Additionally, several related bugs have been successfully fixed during the development process. And again, hopefully we get a little bit more of this on some... Um, inside Star Citizen or Star Citizen Live with the developers. Going forward, the Aegis Retaliator has gotten its gold standard work, so this will be really good. A lot of ships seem to be getting a lot more gold standard work. A lot of people aren't happy about these ships getting gold standard, but again, these ships moving through the pipeline, obviously being um, when they were designed and made, were a little bit on the older engine, and you know, they still look good, but they want to make them look better and have sort of better functionality. So. Yeah, um, so yeah, again, uh, the ship is receiving gold standard work, ensuring that you know, it meets the high quality standards of the game. Um, the team is putting their utmost effort into making this ship a true marvel in the game. Again, we know that we've only got the bomber version and we're still waiting on the modular version, which I guess is why they're doing this. So, you know, conclusion is that, you know, it's going to be, it seems like it's been a successful month. It seems like they're getting everything working well. They're getting like the teams working again. Um, everyone seems to be a little bit more proficient and efficient this year. It seems like they may have had some meetings uh, going into the depth of like how they're going to approach these reports now. Um, whether or not you know how everything's going to go through its proceed uh, like procedures, processes, um, and just basically making it a simpler process for us all to follow. And uh, yeah, it's it's really good. I'm glad to see that they're doing this. 
Let us know what you think. If you did like this, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.